Hey, something for today was day one of the Edmonton Scorecard Expo. And let me tell you, it was pretty good from a vendor standpoint and a buying standpoint. And of course, this video will be showing my purchases off. And uh, man, I didn't get as much as I usually get. Or I have gotten in the past some days, I'll fill up like a two row full of stuff on day one. But man, the quality is insane. Um, <laughs> It's it's not often like I'll show some people cards I've bought for like a dollar, dollar fifty, and they're like, "No, you're lying." So that it's that that good of deal. So uh, I'll save the really good stuff, the really good dollar box stuff for the end. But let's start off with a really real solid uh, purchase, like the biggest purchase I've made at a show in quite some time uh, from the uh, Victory Sports and Memorabilia booth. Out there, they're um, they're near PSA. So uh, yeah, I got all of this for um, four hundred seventy bucks Canadian, of course. And uh, yeah, these were in their dollar box. Just some random cheap stuff. A couple of random Future Watch autos. Nothing crazy. Mascot short print. So, yeah, is that series two? Yeah, series two. So a little shorter printed. Uh -huh. Beauty Canvas from 1112. First year of Beauty Canvases. <laughs> and it's even in Rookie Authentics. Wouldn't mind getting a Corey Perry one of those. Some Platinum Autos. That was cool for a buck. A really nice patch of Tom Sestito. And I don't know the print run on this. It's just a jumbled jersey gold, so I'm assuming it's going to be nine. There's a shot it's a one of one, but I highly doubt it. But you never know. But the main card of that purchase was this really nice Sidney Crosby Pride of a Nation from 0910 UD Black. It's in pretty good shape for a UD Black card. It's obviously not perfect. You can see that's uh, the design. It's not damaged. There. You can clearly see it's not perfect, but that's just a gray in the design, but... Really nice on card auto. Pretty clean looking card for a UD Black, of course. And yes, it is autographed. It's not in in person. So sweet, another Crosby auto to the collection. I think that's my second one, if I'm not mistaken. I know I have an SP Authentic one at home, uh, 1011 Chirography. Well, let's get this pile out of the way. This was just under a dollar a piece. I think is. Um, 85 cards for 80 bucks or something like that but more stuff that you will see appear on com c there's a couple of cool cards in here i really like these uh jersey numbers from 13 14 titanium thick stock super good looking cards taking out know, the ugly sleeve you can see they're really nice the red really pops my typical pacific uh pickups random europeans and just short prints numbered stuff for all of my uh, European buyers out there in Europe. And I appreciate all of you out there. Uh, Ray Whitney out of 80. There's a couple of these uh, gold scripts out of 100 in here from various years. The Lance Pitlick UD exclusives. That gold. That was an interesting one. Not much modern in the box, but this was there out of 35. Short print. Not, not super short print, but just... Good for a buck. Yeah, typical weird stuff. I like these though. The uh, emeralds from three oh three oh four. Good looking cards. This one is a tricky one. Sergey Krivo Krasov. Great name to say. But uh, yeah, Curtis McElhenney out of a hundred rookie. It's kind of cool. These are always fun. Uh, Just a totally random rookies. Like some of these guys only have like one rookie card, right? So that's kind of why I pick these up sometimes because this is, will be their only option for a rookie card. There's another one. PJ Axelson exclusives. A little more of those. Milan, Milika. I don't know, but it's a premier date. These are 
really good looking cards. You know, breeze through these. Another really good looking card too. I, I love that shade of blue with the rainbow. It looks so good. But yeah, the typical weird stuff. I have a good. I've had good times selling like these Pacific parallels on ComC. And of course, the uh, Europeans. Of course, I always pick up. But yeah, good. Cavier out of the hundred. Right, this box was a uh, right. Well, not a. The vendor entrance, I guess you could say, where the loading area is. There's a uh, 25 for 20 box. So these were just under a buck a piece. Um, it's out of 29, but these are tricky. It's, I'll explain these later, but there's a couple of them. There's a lot of Trevor Latowski. Uh, this was cool. Ike Hilliard, um, Bowman's Best Atomic Refractor. Out of 100, that was an interesting find in the uh, box. Super cool. And yes, there is a bit of everything. There's baseball in here. There's even some basketball. Big, believe it or not, I was picking up prism cards. What in the world am I doing picking up prism? It was actually good. An old ultimate collection with a an air in the sleeve, but out of 30. Corey Dillon out of 125. I mean, there's some good names in here for sure. And these were cool. Topps Heritage Refractors of Brian Erlacher and Tony Gonzalez. And that's pretty cool, out of five fifty-two for just under a dollar reach. Great looking cards in the uh, fifty-two baseball design. Super nice. They both came in that sleeve too. So Tiki Barber, X Fractor, Rod Smith, with seventy-one. Great design, not super valuable, but gorgeous looking card. Uh, those are not part of it. Those are something else. Unimportant prism cards. Those are not the ones I was talking about. But yeah, Tim Raines, finest 96? I don't know. 94. 94 finest refractor. One of the earliest refractors. A couple more of these out of 29. Mickey Mantle. They aren't that good, though. Because you see this, 40 home runs. You see how it says 52 home runs. So there's... One card for each home run. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So technically, there's 52 of these out of 29. It just says a different number here. Same deal with this. So there's 132 of these out of 29, just with a different number on each of the 29, if that makes sense. But, uh, yeah. And there's that. I don't know where these ones came from. But these were a dollar reach, too. Some random parallels as per usual. You know me. Scott Sabarin, Future Watch. Great stats in the AHL this year. There's those. Uh, go with these next. These were 50 cents each. Just some random stuff. Patrick was cool for sure. Some uh, rose golds from Artifacts. From Byfield. There's Patrick Kane in there. Patrick Kane in there somewhere. That was cool. Uh, these are interesting. Just pick up these because I don't think anyone else is going to have them on a Com C. But they're interesting. That looks a lot like a Futera card. That's not. Uh, buy cards card, but they're strange. But I don't think anyone else is going to have them, so that's why I'm submitting them. These were a dollar each from that same table. A couple chronology base. Namco out of 199 a Bobby Brink Wood parallel. Some Dean out of 599 and this Brand Clark out of 199 It's cool. Very good player. I'm excited to see what he does next season for the Kings. Uh, these three were like a buck each. <laughs> I sold one of these on Column C the other day for like three bucks, so. Sure. Now I was at a different table with a ton of boxes. I just didn't pick through them too much. Oh, I remember. I wish I could remember this guy's uh, name. Uh, he has like the, um, there's a Drew Doughty uh, Golden Treasures at his table. I remember that. 
uh, yeah, these were a dollar each. Uh, some Pro Set prototypes. Pro Set prototype packs, so. Interesting. I don't know what players come in these, but why not? Garen out of 25. Those are really good looking cards. Very good. There's no PG Chrome Refractor of Sergei Samsonov. I have actually searching through um, the dollar boxes you're going to see coming up soon. And there was a, um, a Fedorov one of these in there. And the guy was like, ooh, that's a nice find. I'm like, you want it? I said, sure. I, I found so much stuff in there that I was perfectly fine just giving it to him. He's a good guy, too. I just I wish I could remember his name. OPG Raffer Redemption Reds from 1415. Those are always nice. Dustin Brown. I think that's a rookie. It's Kevin White, but it's shiny. A 15. Roberto Clemente. Oh, these were from um not this guy's table. From those uh the 20 for 25. These two. Steve Smith out of 19 and the Dwayne Bow out of 10. Um, I guess I can go into some cooler cards a little bit. It's Kopitar from 0910 UD Black also. Uh, lustrous materials. The surface isn't great, but it, it's UD black, if you're familiar with the older UD blacks and even some of the modern ones. The conditions have never been great. But uh, yeah, really cool. On card auto. Jersey pieces behind the acetate. Out of 50. So I'm always happy to add another Kopitar auto to the collection. Um, a couple Corey Perry's. I got, I didn't actually buy this one. Uh, Hobby Box 604. Who man? He found this and uh, we did a little trade. Corey Perry, dual jersey auto, 10 of 12 from 1314 artifacts. So that's pretty sick. I'm quite happy with that. And yes, I guess it only cost him 25 bucks. And I've traded him a card I paid a buck for, so it's all good. And maybe a little more. We'll see. And then this, uh, Really cool, Corey Perry, 1314 Dominion, tag out of two. In surprisingly good shape, usually you'll see these in the bottom corners are just kind of shredded because it's foil and somewhat thick stock, right? But it's pretty good looking on this card, so. Nice, I'm happy with that. Now let's see if I can find one of two. That would be the uh, second time I would complete a full print run. I have all all three Corey Perry 1617 artifacts base black patch tags. So that's fun. Maybe I'll find a one or two. And now let's get on to the crazy stuff. So these were about a dollar fifty each. Maybe a little more. Maybe a little less. Uh, I, my math's not good enough to know or care. But um, these were from. Oh, I forget the name. Um, Manitoba guy. He's got the red boost in the corner, in the back corner. Man, his uh, three for five dollar boxes are crazy. Or they were crazy until I went in the first thing. Uh, yeah, let's begin. There's a bit of everything in here. Well, no baseball, no football. There's basketball. And there's sure a lot of hockey, so... Yeah, just everything in here was about a dollar fifty a piece. Uh, the price tags mean nothing. So you know, let's begin. There's a couple of these: Young Guns Checklist, Dry Saddle, Eckblad, Reinhardt, LeBron Blaster, Copper. That's probably not that good, but whatever. Barbershop Young Guns. Yeah, I'm buying Epac era Young Guns. Believe it or not. Uh, this Ghoulie OPG Premier out of ninety nine. Good looking cards. I'm gonna upload a case break weekly of a uh, OPG. Pulled quite a few of these, and you'll hear me saying, "Oh, it's such a nice looking card." Many times. 
This uh, Coral Brown Rookie Reflections out of 149. Somewhat tough finding these in the numbered ones. Uh, Curry Season Highlights. This is also out of 149. <laughs> there was uh, like a Fred Van Vliet collection in here, oddly enough. Uh, his 1819 Prism card sells well because it's people treat it as his rookie because he doesn't have, he hardly has any rookie cards and they're like fairly short prints. So people kind of gravitate towards that. Uh, Kopitar, and a 99, that's just a nice looking PC card. And you're going to see a lot of these, uh, SP Authentic True Base. So there's Tanner Lachinsky, since, I don't know, and Keaton Middleton. Both good. Kadri Titanium, no, not Titanium, totally certified. Out of five. Kuznetsov, Grand Finale, Retro out of 50. Mrazic, Rookie Breakouts out of 100. I think these were case hits. Byron Clearcut. Matthews, Authentic Moments, Rookie. Uh, Yan Yannick out of 50. That's definitely uh, selling that to some European guy. And Drysdale, Young Guns. Suzuki out of 50. <laughs> Printing plate one of one of Wilbur Robinson. From 2011 Goodwin Champions. Catcher and Manager. So there is some baseball in here, I guess. Not a big ding on the front, but it's a printing plate, so it's not that big of a deal. Thomas Harley, Cosmic out of 65. Dowdy out of 50. Kobe SPX, base 5.6. Le LeBron 0405 tops chrome base. I, I'm fairly certain that's a good for $1.50. Or 0506, sorry. No 506. Yao Ming out of uh, 999 from Topps Treasury. Magic Johnson at 1213 Prism Base. It says it's a silver on the back. It's not. It's just a regular. Now, if it had been a silver in the $1.50 box from 1213 Prism, that. Oh my goodness, but no. <laughs> uh, Diami Brown. This one wasn't in a. The only card, like, not in a sleeve or top loader in the entire thing. It's a little damage, but I have 25 for a buck 50, whatever. Chase Young, Jersey, rookie not numbered. Andrew Wiggins, a rookie out of 25. Cracked ice from Father's Day, maybe? I don't know. It's one of those promo sets. Star Rubies. <laughs> Ilya Mikheyev. Authentic rookie is not the last time you're going to be seeing one of those. Mew out of 299. Joffrey Lupul out of 5. Uh, Martin Brodeur, the specialists. These are actually cool. I never noticed these were like raised until now. That's kind of cool. But these are out of 4,000. McMichael, Statue out of 149. Uh, New Hook, one of the uh, Sapphires. Gorgeous cards. Blaster exclusive. Gretzky, Pops Black Gold. He should run up 85. Tolvin and Young Guns. Another Star Rubies. Mike Condon out of 50. Adam Fox clear cut. Ovechkin Premier Base. Pajamas. Uh, dual Jersey out of 145. This was good. Uh, Jordan holding the court of uh, Tim Hardaway. And Michael Jordan out of 2300. Probably like a $30 card. Jake Sanderson out of 350. Uh, Brendan Shanahan, Extreme Talents jersey out of 50. I, I don't even know what this thing is, but short print jersey out of 50, whatever. Oh, a Tang exclusives. A Kakeni Yemi level 3 future watch Spectrum FX, so that's not a common card at all. I don't know how much it's worth now, but certainly a good card back in the day. The Malkin Championship Galaxy Gold out of 97. That was just for the PC. Dustin Brown Victory Rookie. I don't think it's worth that much, but it's cool. Medano, buyback space. Dawes clear cut. Quinn Hughes out of 45 stature. Pod Colson, uh, future impact. Triple Dimensions gold out of 100. Ingram out of 50. 
another Ilya Mikheyev authentic rookies true out of 65. Again, not the last time you'll be seeing that card. Joey Keane, Diamond out of 99. Uh, Hobby exclusive, Kubelik Red. Fred Van Vliet out of 25. I'm going to move this pile over. <laughs> There's a lot more coming. Uh, Corey Perry, Highlighters Pink. Uh, these are fairly tough, but they're not that valuable. But I'm still happy to add it to the PC. Uh, Johnny Hockey, Ice Premieres out of 1999. Uh, this random Heroes and Prospects dual jersey I've never seen before out of 40. Uh, Beniers Retro, OPG rookie. Uh, more true rookies. Kriba, uh, Cozen's Pink Extended, so more short print Dazzler. And it's the pink. I think these are case hits. Uh, Dennis Brodeur, Martin Brodeur's dad, Young Guns. You can uh, read up on him. There. Nolan Patrick, Future Watch. Uh, Mario Lemieux, Metalized. Not the um, members only version, just the regular. This was interesting. This Hashik Frozen in Time. 609 of 1000, hand numbered. So, from what I'm told, this would be a. Uh, a replacement for a damage card so they'd produce these uh, unnumbered and if someone sent in one of these that was damaged they just hand number the same number on there so that's from my understanding why it's hand numbered uh, Seth Jarvis Young Guns one of you Young Guns guys out there dollar fifty yep uh, Magic Johnson 1213 select base yeah, I'm even buying chrome base yeah. This is not a chrome base, obviously, and Emmanuel quickly, um, gold cracked ice, crown royal, out of 10. Yeah, believe it or not, this was $1.50. Gorgeous card. That was a good buy. That was a good buy. Uh, Victor Oladipo, Genesis. Genesis kind of suck. They're not really short print, but... Everyone's like, oh, Genesis Super Short Print. It's probably have a print run of like 500. Kyle Palmieri, Andrew Bodner, Chuck, Grant Klitsum, and Justin Falk all out of 10. Uh, Bukestad, Authentic Rookies True Rookie. Is that even Bukestad in the picture? I don't know. 72, 27, I don't know. Fred Van Bleet out of 75. Ely Tolman and High Gloss out of 10. It's impossible to find High Glosses for this year. Uh, Armia Young Guns. Series 2. It's a short print. Uh, one of my favorite inserts. SPX Radiance, I think. Yeah, Radiance out of 100. It's down there. Kind of hard to see. 15 of 100. Sorelli True. Uh, Bald Eagle, these are, this is a short print, to my knowledge. Uh, some of these uh, Goodwin patches are super tough, and I'm fairly certain this is one of them. So, uh, either that or it's just hard to find because it's 2011. A couple update Young Guns, Aho and Colby Cave. Stan Makita Tribute, that's not bad. These are super hard to find. Pretty cool too. I like these. Uh, I like the tribute. I like the whole idea behind those. Uh, Seth Jarvis retro young gun. Another Seth Jarvis. Sam Bennett out of twenty five. Um, Yallison out of forty five. So I'm not the best players, right? But they're still the true rookies. Um, Adam Henrique rookie out of ten would have been a pretty big card back in eleven twelve. Still not bad, though. Eliash out of 25. True, 69 of 70. One off the jersey number, one of one. Stasny out of five. Um, Tuck, Flurry, Franchise Icons, pretty good. 199. A couple tops, Chrome Refractors. The Steve Nash is out of 90, or 999. Isaiah Thomas is not numbered, I do not believe. 
unless it's behind there, which I don't think it would be. Uh, Dirk Elite Promo XXX out of four ninety nine. What's going on with these serial numbers? Uh, Kelly Chase Tough Customers Jersey. Don't know how short print that is. If it is, but it's a tough find. So are these uh, pink pulsars? I believe retail exclusives. Anthony Davis and Joel Embiid out of forty-two. Yeah, those were a dollar each for all you basketball guys, believe it or not. Crazy. This was a good one. Lane Peterson of, out of 18, 918 Porsche. Pretty good for $1.50. Of course, not the greatest player, but a super short print. So all the set collectors, you know. Good luck finding one of those. I've got it, and it's going up on Com C. I won't price it for too high, though. He sure grabby toss out of 149 Uh... And Elite Checkerboard, one of the short print parallels. Future Icons, cock oh, wow, this art card aged poorly. Future Icons of Romanov and Kotkiniemi. That did not happen. Uh, you're going to see a ton of these in my next comps email day. Purity out of 35, Joe Sackick. Uh, not specifically this card or this parallel, but a lot of purities. A lot of nice ones. Call them Blackwell and Sunkvist. True rookies. An OV, just SPX, SPX retro. Too bad it's not the grand finale. Kalen Addison out of 25. 0506 retro. It's supposed to have round corners. Caden Gooley, pink out of 75. Not bad. Uh, Sergei Shirokov out of 10. Another card out of 10. Craig Anderson. Green Emerald from Black Diamond out of 10. Also 4 of 10. Gary Trent. Um, Silver Prism, not that good of a card, but $1.50, whatever. I'll make a couple bucks. Wayne Selden, again, not a great player, but White Sparkle, super short print. Owen Power out of 350. Kyrie Irving, Pacific Marquee, another short print insert from Crown Royal. Uh, Giannis. Uh, Majestic from Chronicles base out of 249. This was one people were surprised about. This is actually tougher than you may think. This is the 2020 Upper Deck Series 2 Fanimation. These are damn near impossible to find of uh, Jordan Bennington. So this year it's actually drawn by someone. So it's not just the Upper Deck adding a photo effect. It actually stays true it's to the Fanimation. Uh, name but yeah these aren't epac they're very hard to find um i checked com c to see how many of these have been on the site no binningtons and only four from this entire set so yeah not easy to find uh really cool so this, this is like the new fanimations i don't think are as short print as people think uh, they're certainly not worth as much as people think but um this 2020 the one where it's actually drawn, very hard to find. Very hard to find. That That's truly short printed, I feel. Some more Fred Van Bleet out of 149. Curtis Lazar out of 27. Almost done here. Another one of those. Curtis Lazar grand finale out of 50. Okay, there's another Mikheyev out of 65. I think that's the last one. Shen out of 85. A couple more at True Rookies. Stanley Cup champion Shane Gersich, may I add, and Blake Hillman. Uh, Charles Houdon. Josh Manson's kind of a cool one. Frederick Clayson. Jack Eichel clear cut. And last little stack here. Uh, Matthew Joseph, Future Watch. Nicholas Backstrom, Seismic Gold out of 50. Romanov, 175. Lily Grin out of 175. Sharon Govich out of 85. Another one of these. <laughs> Nikita Nicotin. Nicotine, no. Out of 10. And a Richard Panic out of 71. To end that off. So, yeah, crazy. Um, yeah, if you're interested in any of these, most of them are probably going to pop up on Com C. Uh, it'll be a little while, of course. I'm definitely not putting these through Elite or Select, at least for the uh, 
like 99% of this stuff. I don't even know if I have enough to put together a select set, but pretty good. Uh, some of this I'm obviously going to keep too, like the Crosby I'm holding, I'm going to keep. Can't go wrong with that, especially with the Canada patch. It's perfect. And the Corey Perry stuff and some other Kings things and whatever, but pretty good day one. That's it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.